Everyone has heard of Sunbury Court. That is everyone who has a connection with the Salvation Army. Um, but we're just thrilled today that uh, we're with Major Graham Buckle, who is the Business Services Officer. Just give us a little potted history of this beautiful mansion. Sunbury Place, as it was originally called, was built in 1723. And it was a much bigger house than it is now. And the centre core is still of that era. The two sides are Victorian. Uh, in its heyday, they had big parties here. And then it became dilapidated um, early in the 1900s. And the Salvation Army bought it very cheaply. It's recorded that if we hadn't purchased it, the building would no longer exist. And in 1925, General Bramwell decided to buy this to become the International Staff Institute for the Salvation Army. It's been used in many ways for the Army, for the High Councils, for groups, for young people, older people, conferences, and it still is, as well as being the ICO. This room that we're in now, tell us what it would have been used for originally, and then perhaps for the High Council, which I understand that they actually met in this room. I believe in my looking at the building over the years, this would have been the ballroom. Um, Colonel William Harfield, the last private owner, um, added this end of the building on and made the coach uh, entrance the front door. And the High Council have met in this originally for 1929, um, when um, matters came to a head and Brownwell was deposed. But for most high councils ever since. They met in this room up to 1999. And I believe it was through that door over there that um, the commissioners went to elect the generals over the, the years. Would you like to take us on a quick tour so we could see some of the other rooms? Certainly, okay. my pleasure. I love this building. Yeah, yeah, we can tell. <laughs> So Major, tell me about this room. Well this room was the original front entrance to the house, uh, just there's the original front door and you would have come through here around probably to the ballroom but to other rooms of the house. In um, 1760 time Elias Martin, a Swedish painter, was uh, taken on by Earl Pomfret and painted these frescoes but we call this the mural room and it's beautiful uh, with the paintings of 1760. When the Salvation Army purchased this building I believe they were black, you could not understand what was going on and they've been restored over the years to bring back their original glory to this particular building, mm. this particular room, which we now use as breakout room for conferences time out for drinking coffee and just socialising in this lovely room. The fireplace, I mean, that is just amazing. Uh, is, is there a story about that? Well, it, I don't know about the story because many people over the years who've used this house don't remember it because it was such a bad state of repair. But uh, in the refurbishment, the builders took it on to clean it up and it is quite expensive, it's high quality and as you can see, it's beautiful. Now, seeing all the different countries' flags, um, we're reminded that this is principally uh, the International College for Officers, and they would come into this part of the house to study or to have meetings. Yeah, in breakout gr groups, they come in here and uh, just discuss together, to pray together, drink coffee together, hmm. play games together, and just enjoy this particular room because it has a, a lovely feeling mm. all about itself. Great. Well, let's move on, on somewhere else. Oh, more to show. Oh, wow. I, I guess we're in the heart of the house here. And this, I would think, the light well, the ceiling, the door arches, would they be um, original to the 1700s house? Well, the ceiling definitely is original. Uh, in the refurbishment, we found out originally there, this was an arched door and there were two arch windows. But um, as most things are in the house, uh, it, under British law, these are listed. We can't do anything with them. We have to maintain them. It's the heritage of the country. But um, 
I have a sneaking desire to turn it back into a lovely arched door. I think it'll look beautiful and certainly go better with the ceiling. Major, this room for me has a lot of uh, happy memories. Um, I know it is the music room. The mirrors tell that story with the um, reference to instruments and lyres and what have you. And of course, this absolutely gorgeous chandelier. What's the history behind it? Uh, well, it was originally called the music room. Um, the, the mirrors actually are Victorian, um, put in by Colonel Harfield. Over the years, many precious decisions for Christ have been made in this um, particular room and dedications to him in this room, which is amazing. And then we don't call it the music room anymore. For some reason, we call it the chandelier room. I'm <laughs> not sure why. And uh, we have the, this chandelier here. 3,000 pieces of high quality crystal according to the people who stored it first during the refurbishment. They have not seen one like it in many, many years. We're actually in uh, the area where the ICO delegates eat and any other conferences uh, have their food. And I think it was originally the conservatory, um, a wooden structure, and then it became part glass. But this is just incredible where you can be in touch with the beautiful grounds. Tell us a little bit about that and the reaction of people who actually come here to eat. Oh, the glass box is just amazing. Again, I mean, for English heritage, it's not attached to the building, it can't be, but it, it attaches itself to the outside and you can watch outside the sky, the trees, that tree, 300 years old. But just to sit here day after day and look out to be connected with nature, enjoy really good food in this place, um, does something for the soul of a person. Mm. Uh, it's a great t place for fellowship as the conferences and the ICO share meals here together. Talking of ICO delegates, we know they come from the 126 countries where we operate. Does it take some delegates a little while to settle into the culture that is here? Oh yes, some uh, officers from certain areas of the world, this is so different from the life they know and we have to talk through with some of them um, about this because it looks palatial and I suppose it is palatial but um, if you're brought up in Britain you know it's a big mansion house and we're sort of used to having this on our scene in our heritage and uh, we talk them through and they really come to accept it and don't find it hard to go home back to their normal life and their land abroad. And these stairs themselves are from 1723 original to the building. Wow. There's two sets of stairs in the, this one and then the servant stairs which is not so grand. Here upstairs we have the light well with the guard that was built in 1723 yeah. and original and so much light comes into this building. We spoke about downstairs being the heart of the building. I think the next room is at the heart oh, of the building. Oh great, show me. Let's go. And so this is our worship room here at Sunbury. Quite a place. Mm. And um, very delightful for acts of worship. And uh, you think of the officers and soldiers who have knelt even the last year while we've been here at this mercy seat, renewing covenants, making new commitments to Christ. It's a very special room, this mm. room. This is the heart of our building. Yes, yes, it's beautiful. Mm. And uh, we also share with the ICO our moments when people give their story and we call it God's way with me they have 20 minutes to give their testimony and that happens in this room mm. laughter and tears both combined so in addition to the rooms you've already seen we also have a gym a laundry a games room a library a reading room other things 
to make this place a really good centre for the ICO and conferences. Excellent. Now, where do the ICO delegates meet for their main lectures? In the conference centre, just down the road. And the isn't that where they elect the general? It's also the High Council Chamber, yes. Do you think we could go in there and see it? Well... Yeah, let's go. OK. So this is the actual room where the general is elected. Wow, tell us about that. Well, the High Council meets usually every five years and they are based in here since uh, 1999 when General Gowns was elected. And uh, it also is the conference centre. It's a conference room for the, the ICO and all other conferences that come here, Salvation Army conferences, outside organisations, and use this place and have their conferences here. Mm. With the High Council, just for my sake and those watching, who qualifies to be on the High Council? I don't. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, it's um, all active commissioners and territorial leaders with the rank of colonel. There's quite a defined, you have to read the Salvation Army Act if you want to know exact details. Or um, John Larson's book about inside the High Council also uh, details what happens at the High Council. They meet in here, they worship in here, they discuss in here, they, and then ultimately they move through the doors at the back that we just come through to areas on the right and the left where, where they make their votes. Mm. And then when a, a general is elected, it announced before the body in this room. Is there a certain sign to like the people outside gathering? Well, when- I mean, I nearly said, is there a plume of smoke, smoke or something, but- Not quite. Right. What happens, I understand, because I've never been here when the High Council has happened, is that to when a general is elected, to keep the moment private to the High Council, there are blinds on all the windows that come down. So the private moments happen in here with um, the general elect, and then the announcement is made just outside the entrance door to the world. Major, this has been really, really great, and I really appreciate you taking the time um, to share with our viewers uh, what actually happens at Sunbury Court and the significance of that in Salvation Army history. Well, it's been my pleasure. Many people want to visit us and because quite often we're a retreat centre with the ICO and Brengel. We are a conference centre and we just cannot allow the public in all the time. But I'm glad that we've been able to share this with our Army world. It's a great place. It certainly is. Thank you again. Mm -hmm.